growing operation can be challenging for small business owners. Tyler Sato from Coast Capital Savings joins us this morning with some tips to help. Good morning to you. Good morning. So yeah, let's talk small business. Um, obviously, if you're looking to venture out and, and start a business, uh, you got to have some kind of financial plan. Absolutely. And managing cash flow is, is crucial to the success of any small business. <clears throat> There's a couple of tools that can make that easier for small businesses. Yeah. The, the first one and most obvious is online banking. Allows you to see a lot of things, a lot of the transactions. The nice part is most financial institutions have, have now upgraded so that your small business uh, online banking is a little bit more robust than your personal banking. The next one is making sure that particularly for those businesses that do a lot of cash transactions, that you're depositing that right away. And, and there's ways that small or that uh, financial institutions can help you out. Yeah. And the last one is look at doing as much automatic transactions as possible. So automated fund transfers can be important for, for small businesses. Okay, what's the chief difference between business online banking and personal banking online? <laughs> Sure. So a lot of it is the same. Uh, you can do a lot of the similar transactions as personal banking as you can in the, the small business banking. But the big difference is, is that you can, uh, you, you can typically have one portal with the view of both your personal and your business banking because most small business owners would also have, have some personal assets yeah. and to move them around back and forth might be important for them. The next one, which is also pretty important for small business owners, is you might not be the one who's primarily in charge of, of taking care of the bill payments. So, so you can assign someone with different rights as you so that they can either just view things so they can do your bookkeeping or accounting or they might be able to pay pay bills but only up to certain limits okay good tips there and uh, <laughs> let's talk business cash deposit services how does this support small business well uh, having too much cash on on the premises is both security as well as can hamper cash flow making sure that you can deposit it quickly is important so most most financial institutions will allow you to deposit it 24 hours a day into an ATM as long as there's a business deposit yeah and you can even assign again um, allowing employees to do it with business deposit cards so instead of uh, having just an ATM card that they can both withdraw and, and deposit and see see everything is that they can just deposit so that can be important and nice for small business owners to be able to get that money into their account as quickly as possible okay and how about yeah. the automated fund transfers uh, automated fund transfers instead of waiting uh, so the old way would be checks and mailing out invoices now you can do it electronically and that saves you a lot of time so if you have recurring things either payables or receivables set them up automatically Finally, uh, how else can financial institutions help owners manage cash and those transactions? Uh, probably a couple big ones for most for most small businesses. Uh, let's go with tax, yeah. uh, foreign exchange, and international wire transfers. So when it comes to tax, small businesses pay, pay a lot of different taxes, and doing it online is going to save you some time. Things like PST, GST, payroll deductions, uh, corporate corporate tax, you can do those all online. The next one, uh, foreign exchange. So foreign exchange, if you're doing a lot of, a lot of that um, within your small business, yeah. it, it poses a bit of a risk because the fluctuation in currency is pretty significant. So making sure that you set that up with your financial institution to get the best rates possible and, and possibly uh, set up some sort of planning so that if you're receiving money in particular currency, US dollar for example, you have those accounts ready to go. And the last one, international wire transfers, incredibly convenient to get money by international wire transfer, but again, making sure that you're setting it up properly and talk to your financial institution of having all that, that information proper so that you can give it to the person who's sending you the wire transfer. Awesome stuff. I mean, I guess the best advice if one person is looking to start a new business, fulfill their dream is to, to do the research. Absolutely. <laughs> do it all in. in advance. Check out all the different accounts and, and how they're going to help you out. Good stuff. Yep. Thank you very much, Tyler. You're welcome. There you go. Tyler Sato from Coast Capital Savings.